What's going on Van Dads? In this exciting episode, we have got the Odyssey put out into the street and we are going to be talking about the Toyota Sienna. This is my 2015 Sienna here and we're going to be talking about one of the most coveted pieces of information Bruh. on the internet and that's going to be wheel specs. So let's take a look at what we've got set up on my van and maybe help you guys in the future pick out what type of wheels you might want to get starting right now. We've got the Odyssey parked out in the street put to the side for the time being until I can come up with some more things to show you guys for that one but here we go to the sienna 2015 sienna rocking some super clean workmeister s1rs from work wheels these are going to be your 20 by 10 setup with an offset of plus 20 but that's the easy part and Really what you want to know from this video is how does it fit? What does it look like? How flush is it? Things like that. So here it is from the front view, aired out all the way. As you can see, that plus 20 giving it the perfect, perfect fitment, in my opinion, of where it locates itself with the fenders. And then on tires, which I am maybe a little bit embarrassed to say, and internet don't bash me for running good wheels and cheap tires. I'm just running some all season Nankangs. And these are going to be the 245 4020. So a little bit of meat on it because I do live in the city of Houston within Texas. And I wanna make sure that I get a smooth ride with the way Houston roads are, for those that know, gives it a little bit more cushion, a little bit more protection for the wheel, especially if you're gonna hit bumps, dips, and things like that, but definitely a good option. I plan to go with a different set of tires after this set. Uh, this was the first, second set I think that I've got. I actually stocked on them, so I couldn't do anything with them, so I had to use them up. Anyways, once these are gone and used, then I will definitely get into some other name brand tires. That way I can get some longevity out of them. Oh, and before I forget guys, be sure to like the video. That way we can get other guys interested in the van hobby. So all you van dads, van culture, vaning collective people, hit the like button. That way we can spread news that modding your van is the cool thing to do and it's not just a soccer mom thing anymore. And then zooming into the wheel, we've got matte black face and you can get this in a variety of finishes and colors with a electro polished lip. So it gives it a nice shine on that outer wheel and it actually matches with some of the accents for the Sienna. For example, you've got chrome door handles, you've got a chrome grill insert here. So uh, oh, and chrome logo. So it actually matches pretty good. So I left everything chrome and barely able to tuck in these big brake underneath this wheel, which I will go over in a future video how I went about that. Meister's work made in Japan. And these were actually about a nine months wait, I want to say, or maybe it was six. It wasn't too crazy. I know some people are waiting a long time right now for wheels. Now going into the inside, you're probably asking yourself, James, where in the world is your TPMS light? You've got aftermarket wheels. What did you do to turn that light off? Well, my little secret for that is that work wheels actually double drilled the wheel. So on one side, you actually have your work wheels valve stem on the outside. And then on the inside of the barrel, you actually have another drill where you can put the factory TPMS from Toyota on the backside. That way your car doesn't have the TPMS light you don't have to have a piece of pipe made with TPMS sensors on it. That way the car knows that it's installed as well. So this is gonna be the little trick or so secret sauce in order to avoid that issue. So double drilling the wheel is definitely gonna be something that either work wheels can do for you or anyone competent enough with a step drill or something like that can do for you. So one way to do it, make sure your TPMS fits before you do it the uh, stock one and then go from there all right guys so let me know what you thought about this video and question of the day what did you think about the setup on this sienna have you thought about getting a set of wheels for yours but just didn't know what type of specs to get well hopefully this video will help you make a informed decision on what to get in the future and let me know in the comments down below what type of wheel set you would get for yours if you enjoyed this video you can actually check out some other videos of wheel specs on my Honda Odyssey in the next slide. I will see you in that video or my next Sienna videos. Doesn't matter what comes, fresh goes